Hi, welcome to my channel. So as the name would suggest, this edition is just to give you a bit of a tour of my closet stroke walk-in wardrobe. What I've been buying this month and some of the classic pieces or staple pieces I tend to use uh, through each season. So in terms of the closet, this side is husband's and this side is me. This room was actually, um, we live in an old um, farmhouse um, in England and it was a total renovation job. We've had to literally gut the entire house and do it all again. But this room was the bathroom. So they picked the smallest room in the house to have their family bathroom and it was that lovely bright pink uh, toilet and bright pink bath. We lived with it like that for the first year and it was the most horrible bathroom ever. Um, and then as we got the money, we redid a bathroom, which I'll show you on a home tour and when I finally get around to it. Um, so we've changed this into a walk-in wardrobe. So we got these units from Ikea, actually, and I think you can kind of build your sections as you go or how much you do or don't need, but it actually fit perfectly. And I think including paying the guy to come and fit it for us because we knew it would collapse if we did it ourselves. I think it came in at £900 for all of it, including the fitting. So not bad really to decorate a whole room as such. And just to have everything neatly put away was quite nice. So my section over here, do you know, I watched quite a few of these videos before I made one, I will be honest. And the one thing I noticed was how tidy everybody's closet looks before they shoot these videos. So I was in two minds, do I completely tidy it and make it look all pristine and everything lined up? Or do I be very real and leave it as it normally is? So, I'm very honest, I've left it as it normally is. Which means it's not perfectly tidy whatsoever, but this is a true indication of what's in my closet. I bought this recently from Reese in the sale. That was £50. And I think the colour, I don't know if you can see there properly in the light, it's just a really nice sort of brown, goldy brown tone, I think. And against a bit of a tan, that looks really nice. I think that's still in sale, actually, if you check their website. And I featured this dress on Instagram as a little video, if you follow us on there, at Fashion and Style Edit. Um, I did get this in the sale, which was down to... £85 I believe so that was again 70% off and I'd seen it before and loved it and umdenard a little bit and anyway when it was in the sale it's hard to resist so did a bit of a shop recently in H&M and found this lovely shirt which I'll just try on for you actually ta-da so I've changed uh, this is the H&M blouse that I got for £12.99 uh, I bought a size up simply because I like it quite baggy. I'd hate it to be too tight across the chest and feel uncomfortable if you're doing that and it's tight and ugh, no, it doesn't work. Um, so also I got those hoops as well, which I featured in one of our accessory videos. I think I got a pack of like four of those um, for nine pounds or something ridiculous. And then a brand I wanted to talk about because I really like them. I've got a couple of their pieces and I'm probably pronouncing this really wrong, so I apologize. So BCBG, which you might have heard of, um, an American brand that have recently, or last year or so, launched in the UK, so you can buy here. But their BCBG, I think, is an offshoot of their main label, which is called Max Azria. Probably saying that really badly, I'm afraid. Um, doesn't look much on the hanger, like uh, a dress that I've got that I'll show you in a minute, but I'm gonna just try this on. So come the evening, and I've been working all day, just want to get all my sort of work clothes off and feel a bit more comfortable. This is my go-to sweater, so from Max Azria. Um, the fit is lovely. I, it's got like a seam there, so it pleats down the back. Just, if I move back a bit, you can see it's quite long, very slouchy. Um, so I shop quite a lot in Hush as well. So I've got a couple of their sort of slouchy sweaters which again, I change into that kind of thing once I finish work, I just wanna get comfy with a pair of joggers. I've got a couple of their skirts and jersey dresses and that kind of thing. I really like Hush, I think they, I was buying it originally when they were just kind of a pyjama brand, I suppose. And then when they launched their clothes collection, they had this sort of, the aesthetic right from the beginning. Kimonos galore in my wardrobe, as you've probably gathered from my Instagram feed, 
This one from Velvet Cocos, which we've featured before. Um, this one I got from Ibiza, but actually I'd seen a similar one of this at Velvet Cocos as well. So if you like that kind of style without having the tassels, they've got a really nice one on there as well. And then this one came from Zara. And you've got the embroidery. It's just quite nice to have a black option so you can kind of throw that on top of any outfit. We've featured that before, my eight pound bright orange cardi from Asda. So as you can probably tell, there's a bit of a running theme here. I'm not obsessed with any particular brand or buying expensive or buying cheap. I'm not a snob when it comes to fashion labels at all. If you find something lovely in the supermarket or you find something lovely from a designer brand, it's just a lovely piece. It really doesn't matter where it comes from. So I've kind of got a mixture of some expensive designer brands, some ridiculously cheap, and then your sort of mid-range. Um, and I think that's probably the best way to shop is forget about buying a designer for a designer's sake. It's just a silly idea. Just concentrate on what is your style, what suits you, and a nice piece is a nice piece wherever it's from. So, oh, I'll show you this dress, but I can't pronounce the brand whatsoever. So, a little scarf from Hush there. And Comptoir de Cotonniers, um, I think it's called. I really like their stuff. Um, it's obviously French, um, and I obviously can't speak French, so I've got the worst accent ever. Apologies. Um, but yeah, they do some really nice pieces in that kind of very chic French way that they manage to look lovely no matter what they do. So another brand I've probably talked quite a bit about on Instagram is Melissa Oderbash. Um, she's known mainly for her swimwear, bikinis, etc. But she does have a resort uh, collection. And this was one of her dresses. I'm going to hold it close to the camera because the detailing is beautiful. I think originally it probably was quite expensive, but I bought it on eBay actually uh, for about £40. Going out, I this is one of my classic dresses that I've probably worn so much. This dress is from Diane von Furstenberg, um, and although it was pricey, I've had it for about five years. I've worn it so many times, um, so I've definitely got my money's worth. She does do lovely dresses, so we'll, we'll forgive her on the price. Um, on the other end of the scale, this was a new item I got, which we featured in our Ibiza vlog. Um, I think this was £12 in the supermarket in Asda, as a lovely cover-up for the beach. Oh, this is going back expensive. I love how I go from Asda to Prada. Um, you can't really see there hugely, but it's got like, this bow detail here at the chest part. Um, so if I'm going somewhere quite smart, I'd probably wear that sort of thing, maybe with a blazer. I've got a nice blazer to go with it from Zara. That looks quite nice. So this is probably one of my favourite dresses in my wardrobe that I very rarely get to wear because it's so glam, I suppose. Um, if I hold it back there, it just nips in at the waist, very kind of 50s. It was um, from a vintage shop in Los Angeles um, on West 3rd Street called Polka Dots and Moonbeams. Um, and I looked at the label and it was made by the WI of California in the 50s. So I love the fact that it's got so much history there, that it was made by these women in the 1950s. And when you've got it on, it's that very sort of classic Marilyn Monroe type shape. I mean, I've worn it for dinner a few times and just added like a little skinny belt to it and some nice heels. It cost me $40. So to say it's my favorite piece in my wardrobe um, and it only cost $40, it was definitely a good buy. It's just a shame I can't wear it more because it's obviously very dressed up. Couple of coats, this one I bought recently uh, from Zara. In fact, I'll show you that on actually because it's a really nice shape. Let's stick that Ooh. in his section. He gets all the messy bits. If I don't know where to put something, I just put it on his side. So I really like the colour and it's this kind of suede fabric. Oh, I've done that the wrong way, sorry. So if I just go close, you can kind of see what the fabric's like. Yeah, for £80, I was actually really chuffed with that one. I think it looks a lot more expensive than it was. Another coat from Reese. 
Um, I love their coats. They do some really nice wool coats. And although it wasn't cheap, I probably, because it's such a classic shape, that's going to be in my wardrobe for a long time. Another shirt there from Selected Femme, which I've bought a couple of pieces from. Um, I like their dresses and sweaters, actually. That sweater's from them as well. Um, so just nice, simple pieces, um, which I wear quite a lot. Moving further down the, into the depths of the wardrobe. So a few dresses I've got recently. Um, this one we shot um, in Ibiza. And this is from a brand called Hesper Fox. Um, and I wore this loads under bikinis. So essentially it's a beach cover up. But I thought the color was beautiful. I love the length. And just wear a strapless bikini just to obviously hide your bits. And I also got from them this one for the beach. That is more of a caftan type dress, um, which I really like. I think they have still got that one available on her website, but I wore that so much as a cover up on the beach. So obviously my bikini underneath because it's, you know, see through. Um, so do have a look at her page on Instagram. She's got a really nice selection and um, it's quite exciting what she's got coming for next spring, summer as well. Um, and then this is the dress that I wanted to mention to you that came from BCBG Max Azria. Now on the hanger, if I stand back a bit, it doesn't look very much at all. It just looks kind of like a sack. So as you can see, it's a completely different dress when you see it on. And got this lovely kind of cross detail at the front. So you just pull in the straps there to create the shape. If I just go back a little bit, so do have a look at their website. Um, the quality is really lovely. They tend to use a lot of silks and a lot of silk crepe and that kind of thing, which falls really nicely. Love this kind of color. Not sure what they're doing this season, actually, because I haven't had a look. Um, but as a special occasion outfit or going to a wedding or something like that, um, they're always one that I'd have a little look at just to see what they've got, um, or maybe in the sale as well. Right, rather than prance around in my big floaty dress, I'm just gonna put something normal on and I can show you my shoes. Okay, that's better, back to some normal clothes. So yeah, so all my clothes are kind of in this section. Drawers for all my jeans, underwear, and then my special underwear I'll put in boxes at the top there. Um, when I say special <laughs> underwear, that sounds really ominous, doesn't it? I mean like your really pretty delicate pieces that you wanna keep wrapped in tissue and etc. So shoes wise, um, got a number of different simple courts and uh, they are from Marks and Spencers. Um, they are from June. I wear those quite a lot actually. They're very pointy but I think they're quite elegant. Makes a nice shape on your leg. Um, those are some Old Faithfuls that are from Dolce & Gabbana um, that have lasted me for years which is kind of what I mean when I'm saying about you know, if you can afford to invest in an expensive pair of shoes, they'll last. Those I bought recently in Marks and Spencers. They're an old pair that, if I'm feeling brave, um, because look at the skinny heel on that, it's ridiculous. So they're some sandals that kind of tie around the ankle there with like a leather detail. They're from Gucci. They were about 300 pounds. Um, which is probably silly of me actually because it's very hard to walk in them it's very hard to dance in them in fact unless you're just going to stand still um it's hard to do anything in them but anyway um oh these i well i say these i've got one so this was a pair i bought from a brand called sergio rossi which is an italian brand um and i love this color it's like a really lovely oh, as you can see well worn like a green tone I used to have a car that colour actually. I've lost the other one, hence why I'm just showing you one shoe. I, I'm not destined to have this shoe at all because when I saw them in Italy in the shop um, in Rome, they only had a size, what is this, 37 and a half, and I'm a 39. But because it was the last one and I loved them so much, I bought them anyway. So I felt like an ugly sister squeezing my big feet into these shoes every time I wore them. They absolutely killed my feet. But I would continue to do it because they were so lovely. And now, just to bite me on the bar, I've lost the other shoe. How, how can you lose a shoe? I've not been that drunk that I come home with just one shoe. So I don't know where the other one's gone. Really annoying. 
trainers you've probably seen me wear a lot on Instagram came from crime London these lovely boots I had my eye on for a long time they came they are Chloe actually kind of that classic buckle things and I actually got those from uh, Vestair Collective so they're second hand I think I paid 125 second hand so I dread to think how much they were originally out of my price range I might add but Vestair Collective is really good for things like that just to find something that maybe you've been looking at for a while you can't afford full price there's always somebody richer that will be selling off all their old stuff and you can get some really good bargains on there so they are another pair of Sergio Rossi wedges they came from Michael Kors um, which I just thought they were quite nice pair of Nikes which are Nike internationalists looking very battered now everybody needs a pair of Converse in the wardrobe I have got a couple of pairs of Converse these are looking spectacularly battered as you can see but I actually prefer trainers and handbags actually looking worn in that's it that's my wardrobe um hope you liked having a look in my closet and the mishmash of brands and labels and price points that I seem to have going on and let me know in the comments section if there's any pieces that you particularly loved or something that you think Jessica what are you doing that's horrible you cannot have that in your wardrobe that's fine just let me know um and don't forget to find us on Instagram at fashion and style edit where we can chit chat with you just a little bit easier because we're on there on a daily basis we'll see you next week take care